Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live this morning. I'm so thankful that we can come together and uh, just uh, uh, journey together on the 40-day worship experience. And it's so exciting that we can give the Lord the first 15 minutes of our day and just surrender our will over to his will. You know, every day, the Lord is doing something new inside of our heart. Every day, he's transforming us from the inside out. Every day, he's bringing forth something new. And that's the transformation process that we're going through. It's we're transformed, really, as we spend time in his presence and we allow the word of God to go deep into our heart, to bring about that transformative work by the Holy Spirit. And I'm so excited that we can walk together in this process with him because he's got a plan for us. He's accomplishing something in us. That's the work of the Spirit to transform us. And then he's doing something through us. He's bringing forth his kingdom. He's bringing forth his purposes. And he's using you and me in that process. And we're on day number 39 of the ongoing 40-day worship experience. And the Lord's doing something powerful inside of your heart. He's doing something brand new inside of you by his Holy Spirit. And this is what is so dynamic. And it's my passion that we get there, that together we encourage each other to spend time every day in his presence. So the enemy doesn't hijack our brains and try to draw us off course where we focus both our heart and our mind our thoughts onto the Lord, and he brings about something brand new every day. We're, we're in the Lord's Prayer again because the, the Lord's Prayer, what Jesus taught his disciples, is truly a pathway to intimacy. It wasn't a form prayer that we were just supposed to, to recite. It was really a, a pattern prayer where it didn't say, this is, this is what you should pray, Jesus said. He said, this is how you should pray. It's a pattern for us to draw us into a deep and intimate relationship with the creator. Jesus knew exactly what to share with us to draw us into that intimate place. And we talked about our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name or holy is thy name, where the very, very first uh, part of that prayer is to focus us on our need for God, our Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, where we're in relationship, where, where God is expressing his love to us and we're responding with our love for him. That's what's so powerful, is that God's love is being poured out, shed abroad in our heart, every single moment of every day. And we're, the, we're here as the responders to his love. And, the, and we know what that's doing. It's crushing fear and activating faith. That's what God's love does. So that's so beautiful, so powerful. Now, the second part of this prayer is, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. This is our need for direction. Without God, we wouldn't know where to go, what to do, what to say, how to say it. We would be lost. People all the time say, I don't know what the future is. I don't know what the future is. Well, get to know the one who does. The Lord knows the future. He has the future. He has a plan. He has an assignment. He's bringing forth his kingdom on earth. That's why Jesus said, pray this, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come on the earth as it is in heaven, or thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. God has a plan. That's what's so beautiful. God's got an assignment that he's up to, and he's invited us into that assignment. He wants us to be on life mission with him. I want to uh, read this. You have been called, and I have been called, to partner with God to extend his kingdom through an intimate, ongoing relationship with him. Isn't that beautiful? 
that God's got this beautiful plan set out and he's accomplishing it. He's bringing forth his kingdom and he's invited you and me along on the journey. That's what's so dynamic about this prayer is we realize, wow, it's not our plan we're trying to fulfill, it's God's plan. And that he's calling us to partner with him. So Jesus is wanting us to pray it like this. Thy kingdom come. We're partnering with God to declare his kingdom is coming to the earth. And But it's not our will, but it's thy will be done. Thy will be done in earth. That's a declaration we're making. Not my will, thy will. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are, are, are releasing the purpose of God, the kingdom of God on the earth. Every single day, there's an advancement of God's kingdom. He's calling us to be a part of that. That's why we have a need for direction. And God is supplying it. That's what's so dynamic. We're a part of his body. We're a part of accomplishing his perfect will on the earth. We're a part of the assignment that's being dictated from heaven. And we get to participate in that in a small way, but a significant way. There's no unsignificant part to his body. Each part does its own strategic and significant work. And that's you and me. We're a part of his body accomplishing his will and extending his kingdom on the earth. This just to me gets me excited for you and for myself that we're together encouraging each other to see his kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we can pray that. And as we pray thy kingdom come, our prayers are releasing God's kingdom into the earth. And that's what's so dynamic. Let me read John 15. Uh, 15 to 17, because this this kind of uh, draws us into this idea and understanding and truth that we're a part of what he's doing. Now, this is what he said in verse 15 to 17. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now, you are my friends. This is what he's making this such a powerful declaration here. We're God's friends. Since I have told you everything the Father told me. This is so beautiful. God's calling us into this intimate relationship with him, each one of us being called his friend. And that's what's so beautiful. We're called into this intimate, ongoing relationship with God, with the creator of the universe, with our Lord Jesus, with our heavenly father, with the Holy Spirit. This dynamic relationship is moving his kingdom forward and God has called us into it. And this is what he said. You didn't choose me. I chose you and appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the father will give, oh, excuse me, uh, let me read this again. I have appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command, love each other. This, this is a prayer of surrender. This portion of the Lord's Prayer is where we are surrendering our will over to God's will and becoming a part of what he's doing. We didn't choose him, he chose us and appointed us to go forth in the earth to bear fruit in his name. Whatever we pray, he will bring forth because we're praying in accordance with his will. It's a lordship petition, meaning we're recognizing that he's the Lord over our life and that he is governing our life. This is what's so beautiful. We're a part of his kingdom. It's offering my life to be used for his purpose. We, we need to make no mistake that in this portion of the Lord's Prayer, we're offering up our life to be a part of his life and to fulfill his purpose. 
And they, it, I just love this, this little prayer here. Lord, you have your way in my life. We can pray that. Lord, Lord Jesus, Father God, Holy Spirit, you have your way in my life. Not my will be done, but thy will be done. That's, that's what we accomplish in the first 15 minutes of the day. It's this prayer of surrender. It's yielding over our life to the Lord, to be in intimate relationship with him and to further his purposes, his kingdom on the earth. This is so dynamic. It's not God following me. We must make this clear. It's not God following me into the day. It's me following him. That's the distinction that's so powerful. Our minds just need to wrap around that understanding that we're following him into the day for whatever he has and that our life is not our own, it's his. John 10, 27 and 28 says this, and this is Jesus speaking. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and, the, the, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. Our prayer is, God, lead me into what you have for me today. This is a prayer of cooperation. It's a prayer of surrender. It's a prayer of understanding the Lordship of Christ in our life. It's the prayer of not my will today, but thy will. What Jesus prayed in the garden, what he modeled in the garden before he went to the cross. Three times in agony, he prayed, not my will, but thy will be done. And in John 6, 38, it says, for I have come, this is Jesus, for I have come down from heaven to do the will of God who sent me not to do my own will. That's what's so beautiful about this part in this prayer. It's a prayer of lordship, surrender. It's a prayer of receiving direction from the Lord. It's a prayer of, of identifying with him as, he, as his friend and walking with him to fulfill his purposes in the day. It's us being with him. Tim Keller said this, it is asking God to extend his royal power over every part of our lives, emotionally, desires, thoughts, and commitments. It's us really giving our entire life over to the Lord every single morning. Let's just pray this morning a prayer of surrender. Let's just yield our life over to God, a living sacrifice. Let's just open up our heart to the plan and the purpose that he has for us today. Let us understand that it's not our will today, but it's his will that we're partnering with him to extend his kingdom through an intimate relationship with him. Let's let just the understanding that we are a part of his kingdom going forth and we're being used to do our part in the fullness of what he's accomplishing today, just today because he's leading us and guiding us by the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your grace. Today we do surrender our will to your will. We, we declare thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we surrender our heart to yours and we desire to hear your voice and just to respond to the leading of the Holy Spirit today in all that he has for us. We thank you that we can be a part of your kingdom, that we can be a part of what you're doing, that we can be a part of what you're accomplishing. And our heart is to be with you today, accomplishing your will and purpose. Use us, work through us. Let us be your hands and your feet today. Let us go forward with courage as fear is crushed and faith is activated to accomplish in every situation your plan and purpose. I thank you for each one listening today, Lord. I thank you for their life. Lord, we're in this together. We're linking shields to walk with you together because together we're stronger. And Lord, we love you. We honor you today. We put you first. We surrender. We celebrate. 
We meditate on your word. We open up our heart to you. We dedicate the day to you and we listen with our spiritual ears, our heart, and we desire to obey you today. Walk with you. Lord, we give you the glory in every way. And I just pray for each one that each one would be experiencing emotional, mental, spiritual, physical, and relational health. That Lord, your hand of protection would be upon each and every person listening. Anoint them today, favor them today, empower them today, and release them today into your will and purpose. And we declare and decree thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we surrender to that purpose today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow, this was good to be together today. I feel strengthened for the purpose ahead because we're stronger together. Have an amazing day. Bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow on day number 40. God bless.